Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of the Insect Nerd where we talk about insects, which we'll come to this one in a minute. You probably will know what it is already, but I'll go into detail. Um, other inverts such as tarantulas, I have a tarantula, jumping spiders, other animals such as white tree frogs, Neville and Luna, um, and I've got a crested gecko, I've got two kittens, so if you hear any meowing in the background, that is them. <laughs> Yeah, um, I hope the sound quality is better. So obviously I have new hair, so that's get out of the way. And yeah, I like it. I look a bit like Harley Quinn, but I love it. Um, so today we're talking about this thing here. Now this is a dragonfly. Um, and I really hope it's not gonna fly away as I film. Um, I, I talk with my hands, so I'm trying not to move this hand at the same time. Um, let's see how it goes. Um, so this is a um, broad, sorry, broad body chaser dragonfly, or if I can pronounce it right, the Bella Depress Depressor is its scientific name. The spelling will be up there for you. If I haven't pronounced it quite right, then I'm really sorry, but I have some speech difficulties. So there. Um, anyway, um, so this one I think is the female because it's slightly broader so how you can tell the difference between them is generally the females are more sort of goldeny. Um, they are both really golden when they've just sort of emerged within a couple of days. Um, so the female's got a broader abdomen, um, the male's got really sort of slim abdomen, I'll show you the male in a minute. Um, so yeah basically the males when they um, age they will get a bit of blue sort of on their abdomen as well um but yeah basically these guys i haven't just wire caught them i have raised them from nymphs is what i'm i'm about to say which was a both difficult task but very exciting and insightful watching them as sort of medium-sized nymphs um sort of on their way to adulthood and then watching them sort of peel themselves out their skin before we get to that very important emergence bit and, and, and how I enjoy watching it, let's just talk about the dragonfly life cycle. So dragonflies normally, um, some people think, you know, their life, their life cycle is quite quick. Uh, like butterflies, I feel like they're always quite quick. Um, and moths, um, it really depends on the species and the heat. If there's heat, you know, it will probably cause metamorphosis to sort of, become quicker but in dragonfly's case depending on what nymph you get so i got mine from a company uh i got them from uh yeah i got I ordered them from a company and they were sort of like medium-sized nymphs so there's different instars different stages of dragonfly nymph and mine were bigger so they didn't take as long to become a dragonfly but normally they can if they're sort of younger they will sort of emerge, take three to seven years to emerge. So they're under their water for all that time, eating uh, an assortment of aquatic bugs, uh, water skaters, uh, skittleback fish. Um, I fed my water skaters because um, I couldn't really find many access to fish. Um, so that's what I, I did. I fed them that and I fed them bits of Daphnia, uh, which is sort of like aquatic fleas. Um, it's quite hard to find in pet shops, but uh, I fed a bit of frozen, but they didn't like that as much, so I just ordered a little water slaters in the end. But at first, I had a bit of an issue because when I kept the nymphs, I, um, I was told I could keep them together, so I kept them together in a big tank. So um, I sort of separated them into different tanks, uh, not one, but a couple in one each. And then as they got older, they started to attack each other. And I realised that actually they are very, they are so cannibalistic that at that stage they cannot be together at all. So I separated them into buckets and put the buckets into a net, left the lid of the buckets. So I put sand as the substrate, uh, non-chlorine water, um, so rainwater or even sort of boiled water. So you can boil water for 30 minutes and then leave it for an hour to cool down. That's normally how I do mine. There's other easier ways. There's other probably water treatments you can use, but on the safe side, I didn't because they're quite sensitive to water quality. Um, so that's what I did. And I fed them water slaters. Um, so every sort of one to two days, 
and I put bamboo sticks out from the the tub and the the water level's gotta be on there so they can the water level's gotta be sort of uh at the bottom of the uh bamboo stick. So you slot the bam bamboo stick in the bucket and then they climb up and sort of what they do is they shed their skin. They actually sort of, it's, it's like they're coming out. It's kind of very alien, I love it. I love insects because they're just very alien and, and very different, but they sort of, um, without dropping the dragonfly, they sort of like back out of their skin um, and the process takes a while. So I would leave them to, to do that. And when they're fully formed like this, I would move the bamboo stick into a net and I would just leave them in peace. I wouldn't feed them for like a day or so because I just don't want them to to, to die basically and, and get malformed. Um, so it's best to wait for them to dry their wings out. But yeah, here we go, adult. Look at that, beautiful. Um, so also just to mention, so dragonfly nymphs, I mean dragonflies, um, Normally, um, people do think that um, damselflies are the same as dragonflies. They are different. They are same orders of, so they're the order of Odonata. Oh, I don't know if I've pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I haven't, but there we go. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're both the same order. However, there are some differences. Dragonflies have their wings set like this. So all out like an airplane, all their four wings, just set out, laid out so you can see them. Um, whereas damselflies at rest, they have theirs very tucked in, very straightened. Um, dragonflies have eyes that are quite close apart, close together, sorry. Um, whereas damselflies have them that are, damselflies eyes are really close together. Um, yeah, really interesting actually. Um, so these guys actually sort of have been sort of quite common throughout the UK, just to give you a bit of uh, conservation information. They're quite common around the UK um, and they have been widespread since the 1970s, uh, which I wasn't even born in. So, you know, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, insects have been around for a long time, to be fair, but absolutely gorgeous. Um, would I suggest raising them? I would raise butterflies first because getting the water quality right and the groupings can be difficult. I mean, it, it wasn't difficult in the end. I had some casualties, but I, I got there. Sorry. Got a cough. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it, when you get a bit ill? Um, but yeah, no, honestly, I would suggest it, but raise butterflies first because terrestrial species are a bit easier. This was my first step into aquatic species. Uh, but I just look how beautiful that is. So yeah, she's female because she's got a bit of a, a nice big round abdomen. Wow, beautiful. Just a minute. I'll try not to get dragonflies all over the front room. Uh, boyfriend won't be happy. I've lost a dragonfly in the front room. Oh, how? Uh, well, I was flogging and it flew away. This one's a bit more naughtier. Um, well, not naughty, just wants to get out, but I'll be letting them go today because I don't want to breed them and I've never bred them, but I, I heard it can be quite difficult. But I don't know if you can see the difference. Oh, it's quite hard to hold both. That one's got much slender abdomen at the bottom than that one. That one, when it's older, will have blue on it when it's an elder dragonfly, but it's just emerged like a couple of days ago. Whereas this one's got sort of very rounded abdomen at the bottom and that one's very sort of yeah very sort of straight and narrow but yeah they're absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely love them um I think that is it for me but thank you so much for watching my vlog um and and please sort of like and subscribe if you want to see more insect content and I hope you like my hair that's not the most important thing um most important thing on this video is take care of nature and insects they are amazing look how amazing those wings are absolutely amazing but yeah thank you so much and have a good easter bye